Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to copy a database from one server to another in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. I have two instances of SQL Server, SQL Server 2017, so let me connect to it and then I have another instance which is SQL Server 2019 instance. So I will be copying the database from the SQL Server 2017 database to the SQL Server 2019 database. So I have a test database on the SQL Server 2017 instance which I want to copy to the SQL Server 2019 instance. So as of now the test database does not exist on the SQL Server 2019 instance. So to copy the database using this method the SQL Server agent service should be running on the destination server. So as of now you can see a green icon here just before the SQL Server agent. So it means that the SQL Server agent service is running on my machine on the SQL Server 2019 instance. In case if it is not running then you should start the SQL Server agent service. You can right click on it and you can start it. As of now it is already running so that's why there is an option to stop it or either restart it. Okay. So I should be good here and now you can just right click on any database on the source database and then go to the task and there is an option here copy database. So you can click on this option. So the copy database wizard will be open and you can click on next. Now here you need to select your source server. So by default the source server is connected which is the SQL Server 2017 instance. So that's good. And here you need to use the authentication method. So I will be using a Windows authentication here. In case if you want to use the SQL Server authentication then you can provide the username and password for the user who has access on the source server. But I will use the Windows authentication method here and I can click on next. Now here we want to select the destination server the SQL Server instance on which you want to copy the database to. So I want to copy the database to the SQL Server 2019 instance. So I can provide the name of the instance here and then you can select the authentication method again. So I will use the Windows authentication here and you can click on next. So there are two methods to copy the database. The first one is the use the detach and attach method. So this method is faster but require the source database to go offline. So if you can manage to have your database offline during the migration process then you can select this option here okay but if you want that the database should not go offline then you should select the second option but I will go with the first one because this is faster so I can click on next here now from this list you can select the databases those you want to copy to the destination server so as of now the adventure works is selected because I right click on that database so I can uncheck the adventure works but I want to copy the test database so you can select the test database just beneath to the copy there is an option here move as well but I will copy the database so I just selected the checkbox just before the test database and now I can click on next so this will create a test database on the destination server if you want to provide a new name to the database then you can provide a name here and this is also showing you the location that it will use after the migration so it will copy the MDF and LDF files inside the SQL Server 2019 folder. So I will click on next. So it is saying that it will select the logins as well and now I can click on next. So what this will do it will actually create a SQL agent job on the destination server. So if you see on the SQL Server 2019 instance as of now I have very few SQL jobs here so I have just two SQL jobs but after the execution of this particular process a new job cdw underscore desktop this job will be created okay so I can click on next now it is saying that do you want to copy the database immediately or you want to schedule it to be run later so I actually want to run it immediately so I can just leave the default option selected and then I can click on next and here it is saying that it is going to copy the test database and the destination file will be this one the MDF file and this will be the LDF file okay so I can click on finish so now the process is running and it will make a copy of the test database on the destination server so you can see that a new SQL job has been created on the destination server and the copy operation is successful so the wizard got completed successfully here so I can close this one and now if you refresh the database that destination database so you will see a test database here okay so I can just refresh the databases so now you can see a test database here and you can see the tables in the database yeah so the database has been copied and if you also want to check the like create date so you can write a query here like select 
star from sys dot sys databases order by name okay so this will show you the create date for all the databases so maybe i can just make that this particular window is shorter so if you scroll down so for the test database you can see this this date cr date this is the create date so this is the today's date so the test database just got created here yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much